and they will be the end of questions by the attorneys. And that's when the prosecutors and Trump's lawyers each get 30 minutes to ask questions to try to understand a little bit more about these jurors, a little bit more about their viewpoints, their views on both how they live in Something's because, good morning, YouTubers, two tubers, and boo boobers. Good morning. So, Good morning, YouTubers, two tubers, and boo boobers. Welcome to Coffee Time with Flame and Rock. Let's take y'all a minute to get up in here. Oh, there we go. Hey, Belly B. Good morning. Good morning. Please hit the like button as you come in or go out and come back in and hit the like button because we're trying to like. Share and subscribe, please. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. YouTubers, tubers, and boo boobers, welcome to Coffee Time with Flay Monroe here on the YouTube channel. Uh -huh. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Yes, hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you, Belly B. I see you guys. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee Time with me. Oh, you're seeing in the back. They're looking for a juror. I wish they called me. I'd love to be a juror on there. If you want to hear my take on that, please go listen to our latest episode of Laugh and Learn on the iHeart under the Black Effect Network. We taped it yesterday, so it's already up and running. Come on in the room, like, share, subscribe. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You see what it said on. You see what it says. Baby, the hell with them kids. Them kids driving me crazy. Them kids don't give me gray hair in places you ain't even supposed to grow hair. I got hair up under my tongue, fuck with them teenagers. Them teenagers is stressing me. Can't you see? The 30s is getting they look, the 30s is coming in. There's the risk that you lose a lot. Something special hey, is gonna happen tonight. Hello, UK. Oh, thank you, Signature 5848. I appreciate that. What part of the UK are you in? I want y'all to pay attention to the distractions that is Robert Kennedy Jr running as an independent who ain't gonna win nothing his own family does not support him his own family supports joe biden it speaks volumes when your own family publicly pushes you to the back burner and this is a family of money stature wealth not rich wealth and power that speaks volumes i need y'all to pay attention to that please pay attention to that oh my glasses are there Hold on, y'all. Let me wipe off my wipe off my frames because I hate when I can't see. Hi, Georgie Porgy. Mm-hmm. You live in Burner Mouth. Where is that located? Signature? What country? You know, you have to explain. I don't know. That, I don't know what that is. I'm ignorant. I'm. I'm sad to say I'm ignorant to know what that is. You have to tell me. Yeah, it is a. Uh, Good morning, uh, M Planners. How, 120, Shauna, for LB's Lovelies. And they work for when I tell you them things right there. Hey, oh, you're in England. Oh, look. Ooh. And we got a big shipment of the Lovelies in until we get the, the 5,000s and the uh, 60s. When I say 5,000, they're only 100 milligrams. But them hundreds is something else. That's why I didn't go to the comedy show last night because I fucked up and took 100 too early. And I was at the comedy show in my head, but I was in my bed the whole time. I'm just saying. Thank you, Dr. No, not respect. Send to your cash out. You can. Uh-huh. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Welcome. I want y'all listen. Women. Baby, let me tell you something. Next week on women, I am challenging y'all next week. 
I'm letting you know early. I am going to challenge the hell out of y'all because women are gonna save the women will save this country, and women will save this election. And that's not just women with uterus. I'm talking biological and trans. That is what it's going to take. Well, let me give me some more coffee, y'all. The best part of waking up is early in my cup. The best part of waking up is early in my cup. I could say something more disgusting, but we're not going to do that this morning. I'm going to be pleasant. Hey, everyone. Good morning. Y'all make sure y'all vote. Y'all make sure y'all vote. It's very important. It's extremely important. I see every I see every comment you put up here. What I choose to respond to it or not is up to me. Thank you, Ray Garcia. Yeah, my birthday is coming up in a couple of months, and I'd like to get to 100,000 followers. So y'all, please like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a phone, tell somebody. Mm. I was looking at um, YouTube, uh, Instagram earlier, and I saw uh, Lil Nas X on a treadmill. Lil Nas, let me tell you something. Lil Nas X is a handsome guy to me. He, he had a nice body, and he's a handsome guy to me. Oh, I miss my illy. You having surgery in two weeks and you can't have no caffeine. Girl, I'll be up in here bashing crazy. Uh-oh, somebody just ordered some lovely. Okay, I got you. They're going out today. I'm going to the P.O. Box about noon. Um, Baby, I would be bashing crazy with no caffeine. I have to have my coffee. Now, I may not have my bacon and eggs, and I, I really do like my bacon. I already had it. But girl, no coffee? Oh, God forbid. And perhaps both sides would benefit from Isn't who a Satanist? Kennedy? I'm doing fine. Are you speaking of Kennedy being a Satanist? I have no idea. I don't know what God these people worship. I only know the God that I serve. I don't know your God. And if you a nasty person, I damn sure don't know your God. Oh, Lil Nas. I don't think, I think all that is done for just publicity. I don't believe that. They still live here. Clarissa, how's my kids? They still live here spending my money. Yolanda Smith says, if you don't see the like share buttons, hit the three dots in the upper right hand corner and they come up. Thank you. Thank you for that, Yolanda. Yeah, I like to get to 100,000 by my birthday. Like, liking is free. Subscribing is free. And sharing is free. That's all free. Super chat. If you decide to send a super chat, if it's a dollar, thank you. If it's a penny, thank you. It's more, one penny more than what I had when I woke up this morning. And you're supposed to profit and grow every day. So if it's a dollar, two dollars, ten dollars, a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, you're supposed to profit and grow every day. Hopefully you learn and teach as well, but some of y'all cannot be taught. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Mrs. Redneck Ranger. Oh, I love that name. Is that a picture of Miss Piggy on your profile? Girl, leave Miss Piggy alone. I was in love with Miss Piggy when I was a kid. Miss Piggy was a drag queen, baby. She had hair and jewels and sequin and rhinestones. I said, like, oh, that ain't nothing but a sissy. Full out and full on. I don't know why he's running. There will never be another Bobby Kennedy or JFK. I was watching him speak this morning. Baby, he, thank you, Shayla Wilkes. Thank you, Belly B. He's as shaky as uh, Trump. His, his, his words were discombobulated.
Mm, Miss Piggy was not my monster baby. I don't know why she was chasing that funny looking ass frog all them years, but Kermit might have been packing. Kermit always looked like he was packing, didn't he? You know, the skinny was always packing something. Kermit the Frog might have been packing. Kermit the Frog was trying to stuff the hog. Ooh, dirty, dirty. He sounds drunk to you. He sounds gibberish. His words it seems to be gibberish. Babbly. You know, huh? What? What did, what did you say? Gurgly. No. No. I need to know with clarity. What? What? What are your? What is your platform? What are you bringing to the table as the president of the next president of the United States? What are your policies? What are your policies, darling? Because here's the killer, 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 killer. They keep hollering Biden too old. Biden is Biden is old, but shit, Biden was old when he was vice president to President Obama. Y'all act like he was gonna go backwards. He's not Benjamin Button. That was the movies. That ain't real life. Um, that ain't got nothing to do with it. Y'all not worried that he's old. Thank you, Courtney. Y'all petrified that Kamala is too close. Y'all petrified that Vice President Harris would be too close because if something, God forbid, happened to, to Joe during the presidency, she's next in line. That would drive y'all absolutely insane. And not because she's a woman of color. Not because she was a prosecutor and she stands up. It's all because she's a woman. This country is still com completely sexist. This country is still sexist. Big time. It's ridiculous. Why wouldn't the most qualified person for the job? I mean, y'all want inclusion everywhere else. Why wouldn't y'all want to be a woman to be the president of the United States? Y'all want inclusion everywhere else. We Y'all want inclusion in sports. Y'all want inclusion, and I ain't just talking about the gay community and the trans community. Y'all want inclusion everywhere. You want to get up, get white folks going to the HBCUs, black folks going to the Ivy Leagues. Um, we, we all up in country music. Well, we, we started country music. If y'all really want to do your history on it, black folks really did start country music. Uh, we all up in hockey, and you know it's it's only like six hot black hockey players, but they all fantastic. They just don't get the um, they don't get the the press that the other ones get. I ain't frozen. I'm just letting y'all take that in. Now we all in polo, and we all in uh, what what is the thing that you play with the. With the, the thing and the, the stick with the, with the ball, what do they call that? Croquette, some shit. With, yeah, baby, we have dominated tennis. Them two, them them Serena, them them Williams sisters, did, especially that the, uh, Serena did not play with y'all. Did not play with y'all. So if we including everything everywhere else, why not? She's not my choice. She's not my choice. But she is my option. Just like Biden is not my choice, but Biden is my option. That's it. That's the truth. Lacrosse. Thank you, Lavelle. You know, I sometimes get jumbled on my words, but I'm not running for the presidency. Oh, <laughs> could y'all see me in the oval? I'd be just like Bill Clinton. I'm going to wear a blue dress. But the difference going to be somebody going to leave a stain on my blue dress. Well, I'm going to leave my own stain on my blue dress. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. I ain't take politics seriously until Bill Clinton got his dick sucked. I'm like, I am going to politics. That is where it's at, baby. That's where it's at. Y'all want to see my new gloves? Y'all see my new gloves? I wish I, I, wish I could show y'all the dress they go with them. Uh-huh. 
I want you to know that a hey, something special a hey, I gonna is gonna happen to my show is so stiff I can't even shake my shoulders. That's because I ain't did a drag show in forever and a day. Good morning, Shirley Rowell. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So Monday, let me let's let's break it down. So Monday morning, I am doing a, the Sherry Shepherd show. It's her birthday. Y'all make sure y'all tune in, and it will be live. So look for your local channel, your local times that it comes on your city. I know here on the West Coast it comes on at at noon. So I think it comes on at nine on the East Coast and ten or Central Standard. And I think it's on Fox, right? Um. And then that Monday night, me and Rolanda Watts, if y'all remember Rolanda Watts, the big talk show host back from the 90s, and she worked on Inside Edition or one of those kind of shows like that. We are doing a comedy show together Monday night at Comedy in Harlem. Get your tickets on the website or at the bottom. It's a one-night engagement. It's only going to be for about like an hour, hour and a half. And I know it's a Monday night. Y'all got to go to work. So it's start at 8. Y'all will be out of there by 9.30. I promise you. The only thing that's going to keep y'all in, in line for a longer time is that you will be either taking pictures with me and Rolanda or purchasing fans from me. And if you want me to bring lovelies, you better pre-order them. Because I'm not going to travel with all of that. I'm going to have fans. But if you want um, lovelies, you better pre-order them before I get there so you can pick them up. Uh huh. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's, she, now she's doing stand-up. So we're going to sit, we're going to talk and banter and she's going to do her time. I'm going to come out and do some stuff for y'all. Now, mind you, I was just there two months ago, but because I'm in town, Jamie said, let's do a pop-up show. I'm like, yeah, because I can make it like a live love lounge. We can do question and answer. It's just going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be grown-up fun, though. So don't bring no kids up in there. Oh, Sherry comes on at 4. Well, you'll see me at 4 p.m., Shan. Shan. And yeah, and then uh, Tuesday we're doing the Breakfast Club. Now, if you have not watched the Breakfast Club today, I'm sending y'all over there to watch the Ari Spears interview. We all got our own opinions about who Ari Spears is, but whatever you can never deny, he is a brilliant comic. And he's a well-versed and well-spoken person. Uh, everybody got different opinions about him, but he was very transparent this morning about why his career isn't further along and the things that he has said and woo woo but it was a and he dropped some jewels and some gems, I thought. I thought it was a really good interview. I really did. And I critique, you know, how you speak. Not how you speak, but what you say and the capacity that you say it, the components that you use. Um, I watch the body language. I watch you shift when you're uncomfortable. Or I watch you stand on when you stand on you lean when I stand on something, I lean in. So I notice that about myself. So I watch to see if other people do that. Because when I'm standing in it, I lean in. <laughs> May the 10th, I will be showcasing for Netflix's Joke Comedy Festival at the Elysian Theater here in Southern California. You can get your tickets on the website or at the box office. But next weekend, uh, March 26th and 27th, I will be in Colleen, Texas at Twice as Funny Comedy Lounge. All them soldiers, all them men. Fort Hood, y'all better come up and get some of this good, good. Ooh, Fort Hood. Come get some of this good, good. And this wood, wood. Ooh, so I can make you understood, stood. Hi, Pastor Dana. We're going to have a great time. We're going to have fans. When I come to New York, I will have lovelies. But if you don't pre-order them, you ain't going to get none. Because I'm not going to bring no extra ones. Uh-huh. But please like, share, and subscribe. We're on a mission to try to get these numbers up to um, 100,000 by uh, my birthday, which is in July. This is April. So we got May, June. Yeah, we got a couple of months. I would come to Boston, Don Lamont, if they would book me and pay me. 
I'll come anyway if you pay me my fee. I'm not coming for a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars or three thousand dollars. You have to pay me my fee, and I get offers all the time. But you're not gonna lowball me because I'm not gonna bring you half a show. And even if you're my friend, all that can you work with me? No, I cannot. You have to pay me. I earn this. I earn these stripes. So like you're in the military and you get all your stripes. I earn my stripes. So you have to pay for all the years that I earned these stripes because it didn't come overnight. Plus, I'm going to smell good and I'm going to be pretty and I'm going to entertain the fuck out your audience. I change minds and hearts. I do. I change hearts, minds, and thought processes. Because I'm going to say this then, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it next week. My gift is my ability to make people laugh. My superpower is to make people comfortable. Because I make people comfortable. I ain't pushing up on you. I ain't never heard nobody say, Flame trying to get with me. You've never heard nobody say that. I've never been accused of no rape, molestation. I ain't going to take it. I pay for it. That's what Trump should have said. I paid for it. Shit, ain't no big deal. I paid for it. Now, you paid a little too much because I know some bad white women. Stormy Daniels is okay, but $130,000 worth okay. You need a refund. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. And I ain't knocking that lady hustle. Rolanda dated L.B. Shure. I used to look like L.B. Shure when I was young. I looked like a combination of, I looked, did I say looked at, oh my God, just get up. I looked like a combination of L.B. Shure and George Michael when I was young, because I had the hair and everything. I had the full beard and all that. Good morning, Northern California. Uh, Willie Ray, I, I respect myself, I, and, and Janet didn't do that on purpose. That that was a, 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 a what you call it. That was a malfunction. I don't want to walk around with my teeth and shit out or my penis out. That's disrespectful to myself. Maybe not to nobody else, but I wouldn't disrespect myself like that. Plus, I have children. My kids will kick my ass if I do some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My kids don't play that. Look, if we got down to no money, I was like, let me do OnlyFans. My children would, would disown me. Like, you ain't my dad. I don't even know who the hell you are. I don't want to see your ass. <laughs> and my children would say it just like that too. You know they my kids. My first appearance on Comic View, I was with Ricky Smiley. I know which one you're looking for. You're looking for the one with me and Cheryl Underwood. Baby BET, Ben took that down. But since they're ending the talk, they might um, they might put it back up because I think they didn't put it up there because, you know, they had to have a certain image for Cheryl Underwood because she was very ugly on there. Not ugly in the face, well, but she was, you know, the way we went back and forth. But now the talk is going in, I think in December, they might drop it, BET might drop it then. Mind you, I'm the first trans person ever to be on BET. The first. Did Comic View twice. And they have never invited me to not one BET award. Not that I care now. It was cute back in the day. It looked like the first time on Nico City back then, but now I'm good. You got to show up strapped. Uh -uh. I was on Comic View twice in 2004 and in 2005. I used to sell a DVD with me and Cheryl got into it. I'm sure some people still have those DVDs. I don't have that. Uh, that was a blast from the past. And it did what it made it last. And the lick is everybody thought that I had committed career suicide. But when I tell you my phone was ringing crazy, we didn't even have social media. I think we had MySpace. That's how old I am. And uh, but I had a broken heart. I didn't want to travel. I didn't want to go to people's club. Mm hmm. I, I, I didn't want to go on the road. I was at home 
butt hurt because me and my baby mama had, she was running buck wild. I have no idea, JC. That, that was too long ago for me to remember. I can't remember what I did yesterday. If you had one of these 5,000 milligram lovelies, they're 100 milligrams a piece, but the bag is 5,000 because it's 50 coming in, you wouldn't remember what you did yesterday either. But I will be very coherent and very sober on the Breakfast Club next week and on Sherry Shepherd Show. Oh, could y'all imagine me off a lovely on Sherry Shepherd Show? Good God, the things that would come out of my mouth. And you know it's daytime TV, so I will be extra careful and extra cautious. Hey, Flame Pamela from Chicago. Enjoy just showing Chicago and folks want my two fame. Hey, tell me order one. Yeah, my baby mama had that. Who was up? My baby mama had that Meghan Markle. She did. She did. She had that Meghan Markle in the beginning. She really did. Baby, she had. Ooh, you need some more lovelies? Well, order them. I never, I got some. I got a whole shipment in just uh, Tuesday. Uh, baby, my baby mama had that Meghan Markle. She turned the prince to a pauper. You know, Meghan Markle, turned, Meghan Markle turned the prince to a pauper. And my baby mama turned the tranny to a, a whole pimp. Baby, that thing hit me walking around the daytime with a flashlight and some goggles. Looking for her. Because mm, y'all think y'all got the good good. Meghan Markle got that good good. Hey, Candy J. Baby, that thing hit me bumping the bumper cars, and I wasn't even in a car. Baby, Veronica, Whew. it was like the mother said in Carrie, it's that smell, it's that smell. We want to know where that smell comes from, it's that smell, that smell. First comes the blood, then comes the boys. Ooh, like sniffing dogs. <laughs> Oh, Gavin, don't lose your job listening to me. Oh, let me stop. Y'all be at work listening to me and be telling me y'all laughing out loud. I'm like, oh, y'all don't lose y'all job listening to my bullshit. <laughs> you and your cubicle just cracking up. Yes, next week, Colleen. Got to get my fan and love. Pre-order your lovelies. I'm, t I'm not bringing them unless you pre-order them, Bishop's World. Cause I'm not bringing all that shit with me. Cause and I'll be sometimes I'll be taking 15, 12, 15 bags with me. People, say, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them when they come. Oh, I, I'm gonna get them next time. I'm listen. I'm not traveling like that. So mm -mm. if you ain't pre-ordered them, you ain't gonna get none. Ricardo Sotelo says, "I pray for you. Hope you wake up, man. Let me tell you how awake I am, Ricardo." I'm so awake and I'm so comfortable being me that you can't stop hating on me and stop watching me. That is, I'm gonna let you. I'm not gonna even block you. I want you to continue to watch me because you lost. Because if you don't understand me or like who I am, but you watching my page, dude, your mama taught you no integrity. You have nothing. I am all that. You, I am your god. Remember that. You're what? I'm your god because you're watching me. I'm your god. Because you don't know God, Pimpin. Mm -hmm. It is nothing but hate there. Hate and insecurity on your part. On your part. First of all, you don't have a picture up, which means you're unattractive. Let's let's start there. You don't have a profile picture, which means you terribly unattractive. You're probably overweight, living in your mama's basement, eating donuts, applied for my 600 pound life, and they they rejected you. So you had to come over here to get some shine. Well, bitch, shine on, because I'm about to shine the shit out of you. I'm gonna shine your shoes, because since you can't shine your own, you probably overweight and you can't bend over to shine your own shoes. So stay here. Continue to watch mother continue to be a lost soul and doing whatever you do and sleeping in your mama's basement on the couch or on that futon or on that air mattress because bitch i'm living good god got me he had me so much that you can't stop watching me damn how lost can must you must feel mm -mm -mm. look at god look at god look at god <laughs> that was enough for you bye uh-huh
See, that's how you, you that's how, that's just how you address a bitch. Spot on. Spot on, boo. Spot on. Spot on. Right to the face. As the young kids say, on sight. On sight, boo. I don't cancel people, Nola. I just give them what they're looking for. I give I give you what you're looking for, baby. The breast say, that's what I'm looking for. Mm. I just give you what you're looking for. You came looking for it. Just like when you go through your man phone or your woman phone, you're looking for something, you find it. You came over here looking for something, you found it. If you feel like they cheating, they probably are. So when you go through their phone and you get the validation, what is it going to do? Make you argue and be mad and you already knew, but you're still with them. So what's the purpose of seeing it? I think it hurts more to see it. Honestly. Because I can speculate all day. But if I seen somebody inserting in you or you got your mouth on somebody else, oh, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> oh, let me tell you what I got yesterday. I want to share something with you all. Uh, I think you guys are going to like this, too. So let me show y'all what I got yesterday. Hold on. Injury attorneys call 1-800. Oh, that's the wrong page. Ugh. That's the page I want. Yeah, that's the page I want. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I want y'all to read this. So yes, y'all know I did the uh, the Audible book uh, a couple of years ago, right? So let me read it to y'all. It says, Dear Mr. Hanahan, that's the guy who wrote the book, James Hanahan. I just did the Audible for it. On behalf of Go On Girl Book Club, GOG, I am pleased to inform you that you and Ms. Flame Monroe have been selected as our organization's 2023 Best book narrators of the year for your book. Did nobody give a shit about what happened to Carlotta? Y'all got to get the book. Did nobody give a shit about what happened to Carlotta? Um, what was that? Carlotta. Okay. GOG members overwhelmingly voted to bestow the honor upon you and Miss Monroe for your brilliant narration. We would be extremely honored if you would accept your award in person at our annual author awards dinner on Saturday, June 8th, 2024 at the Charleston Marriott Hotel. This, it's in South Carolina, in Charleston, South Carolina. The schedule for the evening includes a cocktail reception, um, an author parlor at 4.30, immediately followed by the awards dinner at 6. And the other awards will be given, but they we won an award for the book, y'all. <laughs> Mind you, if y'all been following me, y'all know that book kicked every piece of my ass. I complained about that to y'all every single day. Carlotta Mercedes, girl, I love you. You're a fictitious character, but I love you. But bitch, that book kicked my ass every single day. It was wearing me out because you have to sit like this. You have the headphones on. You can't rub your nose. You can't sneeze. You can't cough because the microphone was right in your face and it picked up everything. So I'm reading this the thing and the dialect was actually supposed to be a Brooklyn dialect. You, all you hear is Missouri and Arkansas up in his voice. Ain't no Brooklyn nowhere. And uh, he loved, he said, the reason he kept me on was because I gave Carlotta a heart. He says, Flame, when you got to talking about Carlotta and her son, I said, well, I have a son. And I can only imagine what I would feel like if I went away for 20 years and came out to my son, you know, and I came out trans. And, you know, how would I, how would I feel? So I, I put that emotion in. And y'all have made that book wonderfully successful. When I tell you that, you know, we got number two on the New York Times bestseller for the Audible books in 20, was it maybe 23 or 22? I'm not sure what year it was, but we were number two for Audible books. That was very hard work for me, though. And I had to drink throat coat. Ooh, that, that sound nasty. Ooh, who coated your throat? I had to drink throat coat tea like all day because we would sit for eight hour sessions. Do you know how hard it is to have high energy from 9 to noon, then you go to lunch for an hour, and you know after you feed us, what happens? Oh, the itis definitely kicks in, but you have to have that same energy from 1 to 5. So I would drink throat cold, I would, I, <clears throat> I, whew, and some days it was rough. My voice would get heavy, just heavy from all that talking. 
So when I would come home, I wouldn't even talk to nobody. I would talk to you guys some a little bit on the way home. But when I got home, I wouldn't even talk because I needed to rest my voice for the next day. So I can only imagine like what Beyonce and Taylor Swift, people who go out and sing all of Adele and just sing, sing. I know that. I know that's very wearing on their instrument. And my instrument, I don't sing. We, now we don't get sleepy. We get the itis, Arnett. We get the itis, girl. Don't, don't be try, don't be trying to make it nice. Don't be sugarcoating that, Arnetta. We get the itis, boo. I will say, um, now I'm ready to challenge another audible. No. <laughs> that shit whooped my ass. But I did it. And we, it's pain, y'all, and, and women love to listen to that because it's just a story. I'm not going to tell y'all. You got to get, and he signed the movie right. So they're going to make a movie about it. I'm not going to be able to play Carlotta, though. I'm, a, I'm too seasoned. And B, I don't have that that New York dialect. I'm telling you, that is that is a skill set to speak like New Yorkers. You really have to live there and be there. You really have to be there and and, and to to understand that because that New York dialect is hard if you don't if you're not around them all day. So I would have to live in New York and try to just pick it up. But then I might start talking like that for real. You remember when Madonna went to London for two weeks and came back with, with speaking with a British accent? Good God. Yeah, they're going, that's probably who they're going to use, Rita. And I hope so. I love MJ Rodriguez. She has the, she's the young enough. She's a great actress, too. And, um, but I probably would, they going I would probably be a friend of hers in prison. So we'll see. You never know what's going, you never know what God got in the cards. You know, he hold the last deck. He hold that last, that last, you think you got that whole, a uh, full house, and he said, mm, "Boom, I got you." Thank you, Denise Bear, Denise Bear. I appreciate that. 1999. Yep, we wanted. To, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go in person to receive the awards yet or not. But uh, I, I, it's just, you know what? It's glad to know that even when I ain't working, I'm still being heard somewhere. So, Carlotta Mercedes will be forever ingrained. So, yeah, and that's because I know how to read. Uh, I, I was an avid reader when I was in school. I was, I used to love to read Moby Dick. I read The Catcher of the Rye. I read books. I, I don't read like that no more, but I still... Yes, I got the cash app, Arnett. I'm sending your gummies out today. Uh, I just, I'm an avid reader. And I know we like to do the Audible now and listen to it. And I, I like the Audible too. It's the, it's the lazy way because sometimes I, I lose where I'm at and I have to use the highlighters. But I like to listen two books now. Thank you, Pamela. Because we lived in the projects and um, I used to love to read books. I used to love to read Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn. I used to love to read A Christmas Carol. I would go to those places in my head when I was a kid. I would go to those to where, what I was reading which is what I instilled in my children. Now, my daughters won't read. My baby girl will read a little bit. My middle daughter can't be bothered. But my oh, my son is an avid reader. Mm-hmm. Which is why my imagination can be so big because you need an imagination to be a creative to me. And I love to read. I, it, it would take you to places that we couldn't afford to go. But you could go in your room. I used to make my little fort. You know, you put the the, the, the two chairs and you put the blanket over and I would have the light in there. And my little uh, my little Kool-Aid, because I drank Kool-Aid as a kid. I have, drank, I have not drank Kool-Aid since I was 16. My children have never drank Kool-Aid. I have never introduced my children to Kool-Aid. And I would sit in my little fort and I would just be in a fantasy. I would be, I would go to mystical places. Ain't that something? I just thought about that right now. Maybe that's why I read so well. And then when I became a teenager, I started reading sex books. You know what books I used to really love? Donald Goings, all the pimp series and the holes. He was from Detroit. He wrote all them books about pimps and prostitutes and drugs. I used to be intrigued with those were my books to read on the bus going back and forth to school. Because my mom didn't have a car then. I would catch the, the bus to school. I used to miss, I used to get so caught up sometimes I used to miss my stop 
because they wouldn't announce it back then. You know, they announced where you're going to now, but they wouldn't announce it. That that was I won't even tell y'all what year that was. It was so cheap to catch the bus when I was going to high school. The bus cost a quarter. Should I start a flame book club? That that's not a bad idea, Tasia, actually. But I can't get them to support my stuff. Y'all don't support me because I'm not gossipy. I don't, I'm not reading everybody. I'm not talking about who's sleeping with who because I don't care about that. That is that is very uh, mediocre to me. And two old women in a laundromat and two old men smoking cigarettes in a liquor store can gossip. That that takes no effort. That takes no mentality. That is just, I'm saying, giving my opinion about how I feel about it and just reading. No. Hey, Cassie Cass. Cassie did an audible book. She'll tell you how hard it was. It whooped your ass, didn't it, Cassie? But I pre-warned you. I did pre-warn you. <laughs> did you see I got nominated? We won I didn't get nominated. We won an award, Cassie. Hey, July 14th. Hey, Bookie, I'm a July 14th baby, and I love your realness. This world is so fake, and you stand up for women. I will always be a woman advocate because I, Flame Monroe, and the trans woman king. Remember that. So if somebody else try to steal it, remember y'all got it. You heard, I am the trans woman king. That's it right there, Rita. Simple minds gossip. I ain't, never, ain't shit simple about me. I'm the most complicated, perplexed person you ever meet. Yes, Ashley, please listen to the book. It's called, Did Nobody Give a Shit What Happened to Carlotta? And the author is Mr. James Hanahan, who was Hanahan, who is a creative writer, a professor. He was so patient. Oh my God, because I, I was so nervous the first day. I know y'all be like, Flame, you don't get nervous. Every time I hit the stage, I'm nervous because I never know what y'all want, what y'all expecting. But I was so nervous. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Because that's all I kept asking myself. He said, You got it, Flame. Just get get your rhythm. So the first day, I was defeated. I was gonna quit. I'm telling y'all right now, I was going to quit, but I love a challenge. Yes, Cassie has one as well, Identity Crisis. She has an audible book too. My Cassie is a follower, a friend, and she became an author during the pandemic. See, you can find yourself during the pandemic. Uh, it, it, I, I kept like, uh, I'm, I'm scared like somebody was looking at me. And then I came home that night. I felt like, oh, he gonna, this man does not like me. He he not gonna like he don't like what I put out. He's gonna get rid of me, and I didn't even think about the check. The check was thirty thousand dollars, but I didn't even think about the check. I thought about, oh, bitch, I want to do a good job. So I I laid in my bed. I prayed on it. The next day I went in with a different mindset, and I said, fuck it, bitch. He said, pretend that you're on stage in front of an audience. That's that's. So when he put me there, on stage in front of an audience, which is where I'm very comfortable at, I went. He said, that's it right there. That's Carlotta. That's Carlotta Mercedes. I said, okay. I'm, you should have told me that the first day, shit. <laughs> you should have told me that day one, the first hour. I would have had it. Just put me in a place. Tell me what you want from me. And then I can, and he, when he said, you are on stage in front of an audience that came to see you. I said, oh, I can do that. This is a, a chrome a green, but you see it's chipping away with the black coming in because they put the black on first and then they put the put the chrome on. So I'm going to get a touch up today. I'm going to get my toes done the same color. And um, because, you know, I'm doing Sherry Monday and, and I'm, but my shoes has got a peekaboo toe. So I want y'all to see my, oh, you guys are going to, y'all going to think I'm a lady Monday. Let me just let y'all know. I'm going to be such a lady. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm going to be so dainty. As, oh, my God, shit. I'm so good to be here. <laughs> shit. Y'all going to get her. It is on Kindle, Talia. It's called um, Did Nobody Give a Shit What Happened to Colada by James Hanahan. Narrated by Flame Monroe. Would I live in New York City? Absolutely. If I had a job on something like Sherry Shepard's show, or they created me my own uh, uh, um, talk show. I would love to live in New York. I love New York. But I would have to live uh, 
in but no further no further out than Harlem, and I like oh oh and I would like or Queens. I like Queens because Manhattan is super expensive. But if somebody else was paying my rent in Manhattan, she it right there. Put me in one of them high skyscrapers. Put me on the ninety seventh floor. My head looks like Michael. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Do -da, do -da. Now, this is my Billie Jean is not my lover. Woo! She's just a girl who says that I am the one. Hey, hey, but I had a condom on, so that ain't my son. Hey, hey, I was strapped up, so that ain't my son. Michael said, the kid ain't my son. I was strapped up. That's what he was telling y'all in that song, for real. So you think I was gonna raw dog her? She get that to everybody. Everybody hit that pussy like a doe knob. Everybody didn't hear the turn. I raw. I ain't raw dog. Can I put a condom on? That's what he was saying in Billy Jean. That ain't my kid. I was strapped up. I had on a magnum. I bet you Mike. I bet you Michael was packing too, y'all. I ain't gonna even front. I bet you Michael was swinging dangling left and right. Oh, that is my word, bitches word. You know me. You know I say that all good God. When I that's when I am just done. Like, oh, good God. I'm done. Thank you, Tilly. That's the name of it. Did nobody give a shit what happened to Colada? And it is a really intriguing story. So as I was reading, let me tell you the backstory to this. So as I was reading when he sent me the manuscript and I was reading it, I thought um he had a bunch of misprints in there because Colada spoke with such ghetto mentality. And so I was like, oh, these words are wrong. So I corrected all the stuff in my mm -hmm. manuscript. So when I was reading it and trying to read it properly, he's like, that's not what's on the map. I said, oh, I thought you had typos. He said, no, that's how she talks. I was like, oh. So I had to go back into my hood mode. <laughs> no, I'm not gay. I'm your daddy. I fucked your mama. Her pussy was terrible. Tell her I said it, too. Tell her that's why I left you and her, because her pussy was garbage. Not garbage. Garbage. <clears throat> oh, the audible book, audio book is on Spotify. See, just because you don't see me publicly making money, don't mean that I'm not still making money. But I'm, I, I got a secret I'm gonna share with you, uh, you guys, on the Breakfast Club next Tuesday. So y'all listen, because I got a secret I'm going to share that I've never shared with my flamettes on the personal page, but I'm going to share with the world on Tuesday. Uh huh. Sometimes I get y'all got nine minutes because then the view comes on. But please like the page, please subscribe the page, and please share the page. That is free. I would like to get to a hundred thousand followers, you guys, by my birthday. We had sixty-seven something, sixty-seven somebody. <laughs> but um, I would love for you guys to give me to a hundred thousand. That would be my birthday present from you all. They already got a co-host on Breakfast Club. They got Jess. I like Jess. I never let me tell you, I like Jess on there. I know a lot of people got their own quirks and everything, but that's who they wanted and that's who they picked, and I like her on there. I'm doing Netflix uh, May the 10th. We'll see what they want to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, y'all remember that Monday Monday morning is Sherry Shepard's big birthday bash on uh, the Sherry Shepard show. So, so thank you. I'm at 67.4, Veronica A. Can we get to 100 by July, middle of July? And then Monday night, I'm at uh, Comedy in Harlem with Rolanda Watts. Get your tickets on the website or at the box office. I think the tickets are like 30 bucks or something like that. But I think if you order them online, they're a little cheaper. And we go, oh, my God. We go, I got a dress for y'all. I got a dress for y'all Monday night. Because Monday morning, I can't. Monday morning, I'm going to look like a nun. But Monday night, I'm going to look like a hoe. Uh, Tuesday, the breakfast club, I'm going to look like. <laughs> Wearing. Thank you. Your delivery is unmatched. Listen, long term in the game, baby. I know how to. You playing them dozens growing up as a kid had trained you. You never know what's training you, but I was a master at, at freestyling. I used to get my ass whooped a couple of times. I don't even laugh because sometimes that mouth went a little too far. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so I got punched in the mouth a couple of times. Like oh, oh, I remember my first black eye. This boy named Charlie Brown stole my baseball bat. And when he went, turned his back, I stole my baseball back and took it back up in my house. I should have kept it with me. I should have kept it with me.
should have kept weak. And he uh, punched me in my eye, and I had a black eye. I was scared of him for a long time. And then one day he did something to me. And that same baseball bat that he stole from me, I gave it back to him. I stole a couple of cracks across his goddamn knuckles. I don't know these parents. I don't know if there's actually going to be other adults besides the children. So, yeah, y'all, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Please like, share. Oh, and then next weekend. Next Friday and Saturday, the 26th and 27th, I will be in Killeen, Texas at the Twice as Funny Comedy Club. I'm asking you guys to come on out, hang up, hang out with me. If you're in that area, we are going to, it's a bunch of military bases over there. What is that, Fort Hood? And uh, you got to get all dressed up. On. I love that you guys come dressed up for me. I love that you guys dress up to come and see me. That really turns me out because I always ask, why are y'all so dressed up? And women always say, because we were coming to see the fabulous Flame Monroe. I was like, oh, I love that. Maybe a couple of people that order lovelies. Y'all just ordering lovelies. I'll take it. I have read Iceberg Slim. Those are the Donald Goings books. I told you I read all of those. I read all those books. Uh, well, you know which one was my favorite? The Swamp swamp Thing. When when the girl was in New Orleans in the swamps and all the men was molested. Oh, my God. That was probably my favorite one. Have you read that one? Swamp Thing by Donald Goings. Those are old 70s pimp mentality books, y'all. But it taught me a lot about life. It taught me a lot about people, especially our people. And uh, those were good books for me. So, yeah, y'all get y'all tickets for Comedy, Colleen, Texas. Let me show you the flyer. James Brown, what you making? Uh -huh. That's the wrong one. Hold on, y'all. Let me find it. Yeah, so many life lessons in those books. Look at me and the goat. Look at me and the goat. I want these kids back, y'all. These are my kids. Look at all of them on the swing. I want those kids back. Because these new ones I got, these these grown ones. Oof. Ooh, help me, Jesus. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to show y'all the damn flyer. I love Donald... I love Donald Goings books too. Okay, so this is Monday night at uh, Comedy in Harlem. Y'all see that? That's Monday night. Screenshot it real quick. Screenshot it. Take a picture. That's Monday night. And this is next Friday and Saturday. Sometimes I get a good feeling. This is May 10th. I'll be at the Elysian Theater. I'm showcasing for Netflix is a joke. Y'all come and see my new one hour. You'll see it before they, you know, lock it in. And this is next weekend at the Elysian Theater. Twice as funny comedy club. Y'all get screenshotted so you can call in. Screenshot it. Come see me next weekend. Two shows. Two Friday, two Saturday. Okay? And I will see you guys somewhere. Thank you for joining me for Coffee Time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Y'all see the lines? They was lined up for a bitch. And it wasn't no group of us. It was, oh, this is the movie I just did. They have a GoFundMe for this movie because it was independently shot. So they're raising the money so they can get distributed everywhere. With Dominique and Michael Collier. They got real battle in the front. They see me. You see, um, what's his name? Um, Omar Gooding. And y'all see Lunell on the phone. Lunell was on the phone. I will be at... I will be at Urban Pride. I'm not doing the regular Chicago Pride. Prides don't book me. Because the girls have put out a line that I'm transphobic and I'm homophobic. So Prides don't book me. How the fuck I'm homophobic or transphobic and I lived as a trans woman for 37 years. I'm not your trans and I'm not your homo. I'm, I'm my own. I ain't never been a cookie cutter. All you cookie cutter bitches can fall by the wayside. That's also in the Bible. Okay. Okay. Okay, y'all, thank you so much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. I will see you for Coffee Time tomorrow morning. But Laugh and Learn, the newest episode of my podcast, we are one episode away from season four 
of Laugh and Learn, which is on iHeart under the Black Effect Network with my co-host Bobby Clifford, is out now. So go download it on iHeart, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, or wherever you listen to your podcast set because it is political hodgepodge with a humorous satire. And I give it to you right, I give it to you straight, and I give it to you deep. Mm, that sounds so dirty. I like it. Peace.